is ours. That's the moment that we're gonna take that rabbit out of the hat, guys. Machines. And you can see already, servo controller is chosen. The door joint J1. Current state, doors are open. And then it's used for process modeling. Hey guys, hope you're doing great. Reza is here from Visual Components. Welcome. In this tutorial, let's learn together about Machine Wizard. Machine Wizard is a tool that can be used to prepare machines or for example, even components like this, like this workstation to be used with process modeling, with works library or then for PLC connectivity. So let's get to it. First of all, let's go to process tab. Then we have over here processes. Oops, there is nothing here. Why? Because these are just 3D dumb geometries. How can we make them live to be ready for simulation is under modeling tab over here. So now that I'm coming over modeling tab, you need to know that the visual components essentials is not enough. You need professional version or premium because this is where we actually modify the components and we give life to these type of dummy components. These are just 3D CAD files, as I said. So if I click here as an example, and then we go under the workstation properties and behaviors is empty. And then this is just the single geometry that we have over here. And also the same thing for this machine. What I'm gonna do first is to click on this workstation then let's go to wizards that's the main topic of this tutorial and then click on machine the preview already it starts to give us an explanation so it will add machine functionality to the selected component let's click on it and then it gives you some properties to choose and it can give the functionality to the component for process modeling for works library or then also give the proper properties for PLC connectivity. I'll just use these default values, press apply, and it starts to add some frames. So the first one is the process node. It is somewhere flying in air. Let's put the process node up here. This is the place that the processing of the part will happen. So the part will come here. Then I'm gonna go to product location approach. This is where the robot will actually approach to bring the part. And then we have the resource location. As is clear from the name is where the resource is gonna stop to put on the part. Let's go to the top view. That's a little bit too close. So let's put it somewhere here. Okay, this seems good to me. There is still something left. Let's choose both frames I hold down control and choose both frames and I'm gonna choose the object over here the object frame and I'm gonna turn this guys 90 degrees counterclockwise why I did that when the resource approaches this will be the direction that the resource will face so we need to put X direction in some desired you know Direction. I'm using the word direction so many times, but you get what I mean. So now that you will see that the resource will come stop here and face to the workstation is because of the X direction. So now we have this component ready. It was just that simple click and a little bit changing the frames. So what I'm going to do is to go to process modeling flow components, bring in a feeder process and then a sync and of course if you don't know how to use process modeling please visit our academy and learn more about it how to use visual components process modeling library i'm gonna go to activate flow let's use the icon of the controller human controller so i'm gonna click on feeder workstation to the sync sync is like an ending point so if i press play what happens hmm, nothing happens why is that if i click on this controller and connect all uh, not pathways sorry connect all resources and then press play yeah so the resource was not 
connected. Uh, these also, the resource and also the controller are available under the process modeling folders. So as you can see, Mr. Otto, that's his name, yeah, is helping us today and he actually went and picked up the part to the workstation to the sink. Let's do the same with this machine. If you remember, it's just a 3D CAD file. Let's give it some life. The machine needs to have the doors defined. As you can see now, it has just one single geometry, but I'm going to explode it because actually we want the doors closed when the machining is happening. Let's go to choose the door, left side of it, and then extract a link. So this will be like a link and then the right side of the door and extract another link. So this first link, they are now created over here. So it's a transitional link in the well plus x direction because it will close in this way then the servo controller let's create a new one and the door is having minimum limit of zero and maximum of 550 millimeters and let's click on link 2 then go to transitional follower because we want the link to in an opposite way to follow the first joint of course I mean that if we click on interact they should go like this way there is also this nice little arrow showing the direction of this link so now machine body is chosen wizards that's the moment that we're gonna take that rabbit out of the hat guys machines and you can see already servo controller is chosen the door joint j1 current state doors are open and then it's used for process modeling apply it's also giving here some explanation that modify the frame places so and of course we listen there is this process node link that is created and i'm gonna click on move so there is this move product place, uh, I mean product location place, so I just put it over here. Let's put it in a way that the X is this way and Z is upwards. Resource location seems good to me. Product approach location seems good to me. That's where the robot approaches the machine to put in the part. And let's go back to process tab. Then I'm going to go to flow. Let's delete this link. And then this last process over here. And of course, the human controller needs to be chosen. After workstation, I want the human to take the part to the machine body and then to the sink. And if you click on the machine, you can see already there is a process time value under the machine. So you can also change this process time that the part stays inside the machine. And the same thing with the workstation. There is a process time property. Let's press play. So speed up the simulation. He takes the part from workstation to the machine, but he kind of dropped the part by facing to this direction, which is something I would like to have a bit differently. So I'm going to go to modeling tab and then yeah so this x direction here needs to be modified so let's hold down control so now both frames are chosen as you can see also here on the left and then we just rotate that 90 degrees counterclockwise and we press play let's go back to process tab mr otto is putting the part on the workstation and from and yeah he's facing in a proper manner to the machine i kind of have here the saved state of the machine in in um, not fully open doors so that's something you can consider while you're doing yours yeah but this seems working now and in a quick way because you we use the awesome machine wizard Hope you enjoy the video, see you in other tutorials and bye for now.
visual components. 